Hello guys, welcome back to TechDose and in this video we will look at replace non-co-prime numbers in an array which is from lead code number 2197 and this is based on simulation approach. Uh, a prerequisite before solving this is to know how to find GCD of two numbers use, using the Euclidean algorithm. I have already made a video on this. If you are a beginner then I would recommend you to watch my video on Euclidean algorithm. Uh, the link will be present in the description below. Let's now look at the problem statement. In this problem, you are given an array of integer nums. Perform the following steps. Find any two adjacent numbers in nums that are non-co-prime. I think uh, you know what is a co-prime number. So if two numbers A and B are present and if you find the GCD of these two numbers, it will happen now uh, to be one. So they may not uh, be primes alone, but when you find the GCD between them, then it is always one those two numbers are said to be co-prime so find any two adjacent numbers in nums that are non-co-prime that means the gcd of the two numbers must be greater than one and if no such numbers are found we need to stop the process otherwise delete the two numbers and replace them with the lcm you know the lcm of two numbers is the product of the two numbers by the gcd of the two numbers a comma b right so first uh, whenever a comma b is given we have to check if the gcd is greater than one because if it is one then uh, they are co-prime and so we cannot consider them but if the gcd is greater than one then we need to find their lcm and we need to replace a comma b who are adjacent by their lcm value simply right so the lcm value can be calculated only after you have calculated the gcd value we need to repeat this process as long as you keep finding two adjacent non-co-prime numbers. Return the final modified array. It can be shown that replacing the adjacent non-co-prime numbers in any arbitrary order will lead to the same result. The test cases are generated such that the values in the final array are less than or equals to 10 to the power of 8. Two values x and y are non-co-prime. If GCD of x, y is greater than 1, where gcd of x comma y is the greatest common divisor of x and y now let's look at the first example in this case if you uh, parse from left to right and let's say you check the pairs so the first pair is 6 comma 4 you find the gcd of 6 comma 4 the gcd will be 2 okay so since the gcd is greater than 1 they are non co prime pairs and if they are non co prime you need to find the lcm the LCM will be the product of two numbers by the GCD value and you can say that the LCM is 12. So we need to pop out these two items and we need to replace it with 12. Okay and we need to uh, continue to check for all the possible pairs. After replacement you need to check with the 12 and 3 and uh, if the GCD value of 12 comma 3 uh, is actually greater than 1 in this case yes the GCD value will be 3 then uh, we need to find the LCM which will be product of two numbers by the GCD which comes out to be 12. So we need to pop out these two and replace it with 12. So if you continue to do this process then uh, you, you will see that 12 comma 2 again the GCD value is uh, greater than 1 and you will find that the LCM is 12. So again you will replace these two numbers with 12. But for this 12 and 7 who are adjacent to each other you will find that uh, the GCD value will be 1 and if the GCD is 1 you need to leave out this 12 and uh, leave out this 7 in place and then you check for the next pair 7 6 and then you will find that 7 6 G GCD is also 1 so you leave out this 7 and find with uh, 6 2 and this G GCD value will be greater than 1 it will be 2 so you need to find the LCM which will be coming out to be 2 uh, I mean 6 so, so this will be replaced with 6. So you will find the final values to be 12, 7, 6. Well, I have given you this uh, simple example where we were able to simulate the entire process in just one parsing. But using the simple approach, it may not always be possible to do it by one parsing. Okay. Let me show you an example where it may not work in just one attempt. So if I'm trying to process this entirely in just one parse, then what I will do is I will just assume this as the first item and I will start iterating from the second item. Okay. Now I will be checking with the previous item which is adjacent and I will be finding the GCD value. So GCD value of 3 comma 4 will be 1. So they are co-prime. So we cannot do anything. You move forward. Check 2 and 4. The GCD of 2 comma 4 
will be equals to 2. So since the GCD is greater than 1, you need to find the LCM of 2 comma 4 and the LCM will be the product of two numbers 2 comma 4 by the GCD value which is 4. So you need to replace these two values with the GCD value. So the GCD value happens to be 4 here and you move forward. When you move forward, then you check this 6 with the previous item which happens to be 4. So uh, the GCD value is 2 here and so we need to find the LCM. LCM will be the product of two numbers by the GCD which will be 12. So you replace these two numbers with 12 and then you move forward. 5 with 12 uh, will give you G GCD value as 1 so they are co-prime move forward. 10 with 5 will give you GCD value of uh, 5 and so the LCM value will only be 10. So you, you, you replace these two values with 10 and you move forward. Once you are done parsing the entire array then you will find that your answer is 3, 12 and 10. But is this actually your final answer? No. Because we have two numbers 3, 12 where the GCD is greater than 1 and the same goes for 12, 10 as well. Even if you have at least one pair where the GCD is greater than 1 then it is it is not correct and we have to again reparse and reprocess this entire thing. If you again reparse then you will find the GCD of 3, 12 is 3 and the LCM value will be 12. GCD of 12, 10 uh, will be 2 and the LCM value will be 12 times 10 by 2 which will be 60. So this will be replaced with 60 and the final answer will be 60 only right. So maybe we will have to do multiple number of parses and if you follow this simple approach then it may take you order of n square approach right. Now if you look at the constraints then the constraint says that the nums length is uh, 10 to the power of 5 therefore if you write an n square approach which is taking 10 to the power of 10 uh, number of computations then definitely it is greater than 10 to the power of 8 so it will not pass it will not pass within one second it will give you TLE so we should solve this problem in maximum n log n time or less than uh, equals to this time complexity so that our total computations do not exceed 10 to the power of 8 now each of the numbers are in the range of 1 to 10 to the power of 5 so if you happen to multiply two numbers then there may be a chance of overflow therefore we will not be considering 32 bit integer but instead I would recommend you to take 64 bit integer which can hold a maximum of 10 to the power of 18 okay the test cases are generated such that the values in the final array are less than or equals to 10 to the power of 8 right so you can return an integer array so having understood the entire set of constraint let's go back to our same example and let's try to see how to optimize the simulation well i will be rewriting the same example so let's write it down 3 4 2 6 5 10 and we could actually optimize this entire solution just by a small trick that if we had maintained a stack that means if i had remembered what is the previous item and I continuously keep on processing with all the previous items wherever the GCD is exceeding one that means if I have a certain current value let's say I have a certain current value x and in the array I have maintained a certain set of array let's say a b c and if I happen to find that c is the previous item of x then I will just simply calculate GCD of c comma x and if this happens to be greater than one then I will be reducing this x and c that means I will be uh, reducing this x and c to LCM value and let's say the LCM value is L. So I will be removing this and I will be converting this current to L because if the new element is L here then it must be checked with the previous item because I had just checked with c. c and b were co-primes and that is why they coexist in the answer array but if I replace this C with a new value L then L and B must be checked and now if GCD of L comma B happens to be greater than 1 then again let's say this value comes out to be M then this current value will be assigned to M and this will be removed so that M and A can now be checked because B and A coexisted because they 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 must be co-prime but now since B and L reduced to M 
m becomes adjacent to a and so m must be checked with a and this is how the reduction is happening if i can take care of this reduction in our array using a certain loop structure inside our for loop the for loop will be iterating for all the items moving from left to right and if i write another loop let's say a while loop like until i keep uh, seeing that the current item comma the the last item of the answer array is having a gcd value of greater than one then i will be continuously reducing it if i can write certain structure like this then i can solve it in one parse and it will be order of n let me just uh, show you the uh, exact technique and then we will see the time complexity in this case when i i am starting with the first item then i will be having a answer array and let's call it st i am calling it st because the behavior is like a stack but i will be simply taking a dynamic array like a vector so I'll be checking this with the top of the stack. But if the stack is empty, then I cannot check it. So I will just be pushing the value and move forward to four. Now I will have four here and I will check with the top of the stack. Is the GCD value greater than one? No, it is not greater than one. So simply push four and move forward. Now you check the current value two and the last value of the array or the top of the stack, which is four. GCD value is two. Therefore, we have to reduce these two numbers into one and the reduced number current will be equals to the product of the two numbers by the gcd value which becomes four so i will simply be removing this and my current value will be reassigned to a value called four now four will be checked with the top of the stack which is three the gcd between four and three is one so i will be simply pushing this four and move forward which is to six now 6 and uh, 4 will be checked the gcd value is 2 between 6 and 4 the gcd is 2 so 6 comma 4 will be reducing to the number 6 times 4 by 2 which makes it 12 so the current value will now be assigned a new number 12 and this 4 will be popped out now 12 will be checked against the top of the stack which is the last item of the array the gcd value is 3 so we will find the LCM and reduce this number. LCM will be 12 times 3 by 3. So this becomes 12 and this will be removed. Now we will be checking 12 against the top of the stack. The stack is empty so we cannot check it. And so 12 will be inserted into the stack or you can say the array and the current will be updated to 5. Now we will check the GCD between 5 and 12. It is 1. So we will simply be pushing it because they are co-prime and move forward. 10. 10 and 5 will be checked the gcd is 5 and therefore we find the lcm lcm will be 10 5 times uh, 10 by 5 therefore the current will be assigned a new value called 10 and this will be popped out now you check 10 with 12 the gcd value will be 2 gcd value will be 2 so find the lcm value which will be 10 times 12 by 2 and this will be 60 so remove this and reassign the current to be 60 now the stack is empty and you move forward and if you move forward then you have to first push the element and then move forward and you are done when you are done with the entire process this stack or you can say the array whatever elements it is storing will be containing the final result okay so in this case the result is only containing one item which is 60 so this will always be correct because it is just a simulation approach of the given problem and if you see when we move from left to right then per element we we may be uh, checking with all the items in this stack but if i happen to check with an item a and then remove it then it will not be reinserted right so an element can get inserted into this stack once and can get removed only once and then it cannot be pushed back again because the parser is the one which will be pushing the item into the stack so one element push one time push and one time pop will take order of one time but in order to decide what to do you have to find the gcd between two numbers so if you have to find gcd on how many pairs are you finding you will be finding in order of n pairs okay because if you think that i will be calculating this six with a lot of pairs here maybe more than one pairs then that means they are removed so many items are removed so for the next item you you will definitely not be finding so many uh, you can say G gcd values right so the gcd value 
uh, can be found between the LCM and the and the and the given number and the LCM can be a larger number than the maximum value in the array because it is found by the product of two numbers by their GCD value so let's consider the LCM value to be M therefore for n number of items you know that the Euclidean algorithm takes logarithmic time on uh, the value on which you are applying it and uh, so the time complexity will become order of n log m right and the space complexity will be order of n if you consider that the stack or the final result array is an extra space if you don't consider it then it will be order of one i hope this entire technique is clear let's now look at the code implementation if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this code here we have just implemented finding gcd of two numbers using the euclidean algorithm and then in the min function we are given the nums array I, I am finding the size of the array and taking the stack array or you can say the answer array okay and simply iterate for all the numbers one by one take the gcd variable and the current item and try to reduce the current item against the top of the stack or the end of the array and if you find that the gcd is equals to one then this pairs are co-prime and so you need to break and push the current item and go to the next item okay but if the gcd value is greater than one then you find the lcm and after calculating it you pop the top of the stack because you know that if the current item comma a is giving you a gcd greater than one then you will have a reduced number called the lcm value which will be assigned to the current item as you see here and this top will be removed because now the LCM value becomes adjacent to this B and that needs to be checked and that is why we are writing it in a while loop. After the entire process is done, the stack array will be the final array, okay, which will be containing all the non co primes as pairs as adjacent pair you can say, right. So I hope this entire technique is clear. If you still have any doubt, then feel free to comment below and I'll try to help you as soon as possible. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.